Hello everyone, my name is Shiny Burjum Sal. I am the proud creator of Neuroshine Technology, the Shiny Minds Show, and your Neuroshine Coach. Are you ready to shine? Come on, it's the shiny one. You got this. If you wanna go galactic. We're talking about contextual intelligence today. Ask me why. Ask me. <laughs> As part of my Neuroshine Technology, one of my favorite topics, actually one of my favorite concepts is contextual intelligence because think about human behaviors and think about how we create meaning for human behaviors there is always a context behind every behavior that the behavior has value right so we miss that context we miss the meaning if we don't understand the details of the context we don't understand the behavior. So as part of human psychology and understanding, analyzing human behaviors, I believe contextual intelligence absolutely important and critical as a skill. And the good news is you can develop it. Literally, you can fire and wire some cute little neurons in your shiny mind and create this contextual thinking. If you're ready, I do have a very simple yet powerful technique that I called 6W1H that is going to summarize what contextual intelligence is to you. Shall we? Let's go. Ta-da! Here we go, 6W1H. So as you see, this triangle has all the 6Ws and 1H which is about the how, right? So where, what, when, how, why, what is the source and who? Maybe you are thinking, okay, what about the 6W1H? Like, how is it related to contextual intelligence? Well, this is the context, okay? When you look at a behavior, behavior is right here, the what. And where is the place, the environment of the behavior? And when you look at the skills and the capacity of the behavior, it represents the how. When you look at the timing of the behavior, it is about when. When you look at the reason, the intention behind the behavior, those are the reasons why. Beliefs, values, rules, goals, visions, dreams, those are your whys. And when you look at the source of the behavior, do you know what you're going to see? the root cause of it like where is it coming from why are you doing that behavior is it coming all the way from your childhood are you still reacting to your mom or dad or are you here with me now right what is the source of it and about the who who is doing that behavior if this is just a little fearful part of you maybe that's not the real true you then when you do that behavior, who are you becoming? So if that behavior is not serving, so you can go back to the root of it and then you can choose another identity, another who. And by chunking it down, that's another terminology we use in neurolinguistic programming, by chunking it down to little pieces of what, where, when, how, why, and what is the source and who, you understand the context behind every behavior and you can make more intelligent more effective and more meaningful decisions let's go to them one by one where is about the environment it's about like think of the cells and if you have a little cell in your body the environment of the cell is about where like what is going on around the cell around the environment because what goes on in the environment affects the cell itself. That's why we have cancer cells, right? When the cancer cell, you know, jumps onto the other one, it becomes a toxic environment. So start with your environment. That's why where comes before everything. What is about the behavior, like I said before, and that behavior, if it is bothering you, it's violating a value if it is making you happy because it is honoring a value. What is the specifics about that behavior? You want to definitely pay attention. 
When is about the timing, like we discussed. So it's about the mood, the mindset, the, the momentum and the needs. Why is it important? Because if you need something, you are going to be biologically blocked by seeing the truth. Your need is going to be more important. How is about the skills and how you do anything? If you don't have the skills, then the first to do for you is to go get more skills and keep yourself with next level stuff so that you can actually go develop, use technology, use a little bit of more of your consciousness and you know, you can create better and more effective rules around your behaviors. Why is the deepest one of the contextual intelligence. It's about the mission, the legacy, the beliefs that you have, the standards and the intentions and the goals and the dreams and everything that you put yourself out there for is about your why. Like your why is such a deep level fuel. <laughs> The source is about the root cause, okay? So it's really about where it is coming from. This is where I talk a lot about the OPOs, other people's opinions. If it is not your truth, if it belongs to somebody else, if you don't own it, forget it, it's not gonna stick around, it's not going to be your belief. And last but not least, life is not about doing, it's about being. And who you're being, who you're becoming is the ultimate destiny that you are here for. When you look at your behaviors, when you analyze them, your vision, your future, all depends on your, your behaviors, your relationships and your, your legacy, your alignment with who you are is, is all about the who. So there you have it, 6W1H, you can go deeper in them, and if you want to actually learn more about contextual intelligence and 6W1H, I have online courses that I created for you on my website. You can check them out. I'm just going to put a link right over here. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends so that we can all become more contextually intelligent. And please subscribe to my channel if you would love to watch more content like this. Why? Because you and I, we are going to create a better world with more love and shiny minds. Absolutely.